Hello, friends of Hope. My name is Eric Krupp. I've been a member here at Hope for 24 years now. My wife, Amy, grew up in this church, and so have our three boys, Andrew, Ethan, and Owen, and our daughter, Bella. Well, today is October 18th, 2020. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for this year to be over already. Uh, it sure has been a, a year, hasn't it? Uh, the year ha of staying safe, and keeping others safe, adapting to physical distancing from others, and staying inside of our homes more, losing things, losing events that we may have had planned for a long time, or possibly losing others that we love. So we, we sure have had to be flexible and more understanding to change lately, haven't we? Now, on the other hand, 2020 still may have been a great year for you. Despite the events that I just mentioned, you or someone you know may have still decided to have that wedding after all, maybe uh, still decided to move into that new home or have that event after all. We knew that uh, we could go to that park as a family, take that trip, uh, and see things we always wanted to see, as long as physical distancing uh, guidelines were being followed. Why is that? Why would we still decide to make those plans or, or have those events even though we knew the risks? Although the risk was low, we did it anyways. It's not that we're rebellious or stubborn Lutherans, I don't think, uh, because we needed each other. We need those we love to be around us even more than ever before. We need to see that parent or grandparent that's at the nursing home, even if it's through a window. It's still what we want, and it's still what we need. It's what our children and Amy experienced at a young age and even today. We need to be around people that we feel most comfortable with, our church family. It was the catalyst for me when I first came to Hope. We joined small groups. Our kids started Disciples in Training. Uh, made great friends along the way and have forged those relationships uh, through youth group and into confirmation classes. So coming together for worship at Hope is, is about being in community with each other, serving others, and for me it's being led by an amazing praise team that we have. So as we enter into another season of stewardship, May we be reminded of the joy of giving to something special, a place where we feel most comfortable and where we feel fed by the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 20, verse 35, Jesus tells us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. We are blessed, friends, so I'm encouraging you to think about your giving to hope and know that your gifts uh, will impact so many inside and outside of these walls. And in the words of my friend Bonnie Kinchner, use your gifts. Thank you.